Hi guys, welcome back to your channel Technical Sahil. Today's video is the 10th video in this playlist and in this video we will see how we can enable and apply tax rates on our products and services. Whatever it's like domain, hosting, VPS, whatever we create in the future, either we are directly selling anything or using any module to reselling it, we can apply tax rates on all of those items, whatever percentage we set. Percentage means what we can receive from them legally according to our different different taxation laws and rules which is regulated in our respective countries. So first we need to log in to our WHMCS admin panel. And here we need to visit the system settings. Friends 80% of the work which is related to setting up something we need to do it inside the system settings means we can find each and every option relating to the setup at here. Now let's search tax here and open this tax configuration. Once again we need to confirm our password. Now here first we need to enable this uh, tax support from here right now as you can see it's disabled by default and when we enable it all those below options which were read only before now has been converted into an either input fields or selected but or selection buttons so here we can mention our tax id let's say i am from india so if i am starting this business from india any business i wish to start from india if i am looking for the tax configuration then my tax type would be gst means goods and services tax Similarly, in some countries, there are value added tax. We call it as VAT. And here, if we wish to ask our customers uh, their tax IDs and store them, we can do it by simply enabling it from here. Now, guys, this is the important thing to carefully look for. If we select inclusive tax, this means the amount we set on our each product or service. For example, if we sell a basic plan from shared hosting category, on a price point of two dollars a month and we set tax percentage of let's say 10 percent randomly i'm taking this number randomly so this inclusive tax will not change that two dollar uh, price and won't make it 2.20 at the time of checkout it will show like 1.80 dollars for hosting and 20 cents as tax but if we select exclusive which is by default selected then maybe you are understanding now what will happen yes this will add a 10 percent amount to it whatever the cut value is for example two dollar hosting will become 2.20 dollars at the time of checkout so you can select what type of how you can show the pricing you can set either inclusive or exclusive according to your preferences rest are the settings like customer invoice numbering tick uh, to enable customer invoice number formats next invoice number let's say i have explained this in the setup video of whmcs why we can increase the number of any like let's say invoice number or tax invoice number what's the benefit of it marketing wise it's important so we can set one amount uh, otherwise it will start it from one rest are the below things which may be not as important as in my case but please check these settings read carefully and apply because our countries would be different maybe you are watching from somewhere else so please configure it according to your compliances and save changes and now here we need to define the tax rules which is i am from india so it's gst and i define 18 percent we can also create level like state tax or global means if we are dealing in the same state then 9% will apply on that state and if we are dealing outside our state then 18% is the natural overall so we can apply according to and we can also set these like apply rules to all countries all states that's what I was showing when I was explaining the level and whatever rules we add uh, we can simply click add rules and you can see one rule has been added according to what we said so that's how we can enable the tax 
Advanced settings much have uh, options means it's showing domains, billable items, late fees and custom invoices. You can see where you want to apply tax either in the late fee or not. It's optional. So you can rest are the things you can means configure it as per your choices. But the important one was the tax rules and the general settings which I have explained to you. So that's how we configure tax in our WHMCS based domain and hosting selling automated website. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.